So I've been asked before to make a video on my friendship bracelet collection. And when I opened my drawer, I noticed that I made way too many bracelets in 2019. I thought that maybe this would be too long of a video and I actually don't even remember the numbers for half of these bracelets, at least. <laughs> so I thought maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to make a video on this. So instead, I looked at all the bracelets I have made in 2020 so far and thought that this is still a lot of bracelets, but maybe this looks a bit more manageable. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is do a 2020 bracelet collection video, but instead I'm going to split it up into two parts. So for part one, this is all of the bracelets I have made up to June 2020. And I know that it's already almost August when I'm filming and uploading this, but at least I'm still going to put this video out. And then at the end of the year, I will do the rest of the bracelets I made from July to December 2020. So I hope this is still good enough for a collection video, just not every single bracelet I've ever made. Because like I showed you guys, that is, oh my god, I have no idea how many bracelets are in here. So, go ahead and sit back, have a snack, or make a bracelet while you're watching this video, because it's going to be a bit of a chill one. So, as far as storage goes, you saw that I keep my bracelets in this sort of pull-out drawer, but while I was saving all of my 2020 bracelets, I kept them in this box that my microphone came in. And it is the perfect size to hold my bracelets in, ties and everything. I'm not really going to go in any specific order with these. Some of them I'll talk about, maybe some of them I'll just show them off, we'll see what happens. Every pattern number for these ones will be down in the description box, and if I have tutorials on any of these, I will put them up in the upper right hand corner. So first up we have these sort of fishtail braided stitch friendship bracelets. I originally started out making this one and then decided I wanted to make a tutorial on it, so I made this one for it. I like to make a full one first to show off and then I will use my second one to make a tutorial and I will almost always make a full bracelet for it. And then next I have this sort of trippy and fun design here. I didn't really like knotting this one as much as I thought I would, just because of the edges on the side. I still think it looks really cool, but it didn't really turn out totally being my favorite. And then next I have this pattern here that I think was the June 2020 official challenge on bracelet book, or it was May, I, <laughs> I can't remember right now, but there's just this nice sort of diamond design here. And then next, I made these sort of mini starburst bracelets. I don't really like making patterns with more than 14 strings, and even 14 is kind of pushing it. And you'll notice that with the rest of these bracelets, that they're all around 12 strings. But this one was actually really fun to make, and it was a fun challenge for myself to make bracelets with a larger amount of strings. And then I have this cute little design right here. It was supposed to be for a weekly challenge on bracelet book and then I just kind of stopped working on it for a while and so I didn't finish it in time, but I still actually really like how this turned out. And here is another smaller design. And here is another 16 string design that I actually worked on before I did the Starburst. I think out of all of these, this is the last of my 16 string bracelets. Then here is just another sort of simple diamond design. And then I have this bracelet that reminds me of waffles with this color combination here. And then I have some vertical wave bracelets that I just felt like working on to use up some of my variegated thread here. And then I have these ribbon swirl friendship bracelets. It wasn't really my favorite to work up, even though I did make a tutorial on it. 
it's just pretty bumpy because I have a tendency to make my knots pretty tight, so it doesn't turn out the most clean, but it's still a pretty nice looking design. And then here is my Argyle friendship bracelet. I did have another one, but I actually ended up scrapping it because most of the strings got way too short about halfway down. Don't know how I managed to do that. And then I have this design here, which I actually really love. I might have even loved it on bracelet book, but I experimented with these two-toned loops and I'm not totally a fan, but maybe it's because I still don't know how to like actually make them. But yeah, I really like how this bracelet turned out. And then I have this really simple color block friendship bracelet. I really like how this one turned out because these are complementary colors and I think it just turned out really nice. And then I have the glitched zigzag friendship bracelet right here and I really wish I didn't name it that because here I have my actual glitched zigzag and so many people have asked me to make a video on this and I originally did, but I ended up scrapping it because it was so poorly explained and confusing even while I was watching it back that I just scrapped it. And I really do hope to make a video on it again someday. And then I have another sort of diamond bracelet here. And again, another diamond here, but this one I actually love quite a bit. I really like the colors that I use for this. I don't really use brown very often, so I was really pleased with how this one turned out. And this one's okay too, but I think I like the darker brown. And then I have this bracelet here. Also not much of a favorite either. You can see that it's like skinnier here and then I stopped working on it. And then when I came back to it, it got a little thicker at the end. But I mean, the design still looks pretty cool. And then I have this really popular pattern that I surprisingly didn't like as much as I thought I would. It looks really cool, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't end up being my favorite to knot in the end. And then I have this wavy diamond that I made a video on and was very surprised at how well these colors work together, especially with the sort of progressing colors. I think it turned out really nice. I almost forgot about these wavy diamonds as well. And again, this use of the complementary colors. And then sort of in that same vein, there is this one here. And then this bracelet, I also stopped working on for almost a month, I think. I was trying to get rid of some random threads and this did not turn out the way I thought it would. I even made a variation on bracelet book to look at it and see how they would go together, but I still powered through it. I really don't like leaving bracelets unfinished, so. I wanted to have it done, and I finally did, and yeah, really don't like this color palette, but that's just my opinion. And then I have this sort of geometric design that I would love to make a video on too. I just love designs that showcase gradients of colors like this, it's just so fun. And then I have these rainbow weave bracelets. On the left is colors using DMC thread, and then on the right is this cheap thread that I got at Walmart, and you can see that thread does not matter. Of course, this is a bit of a cheaper quality, and that is noticeable, but in the end, I think both of these bracelets look really good, so don't ever worry about having expensive, nice thread. And then I have these stacked rainbow friendship bracelets super fun to make and i even made a variant that had just four colors with the black and i think this turned out really cool and yeah and another stacked rainbow that i almost forgot about and then i have the interlocking ribbons friendship bracelet this one also isn't really my most favorite bracelet you can see the tight tension here and then the loosening for the rest of the way, so not very consistent work on my part. <laughs> and then we have these super cute mini dovetails. And now we are finally down to our last few bracelets here. Have another sort of wavy diamond variant, and I really love the colors on this one. 
And then we have the famous zigzag friendship bracelets here. Very fun to work up as well. And then I have my crisscross dovetails here. First made this rainbow one, and then I made this one for my tutorial. And then last but not least, we have these sort of diamond patterns. And looking back at them now, kind of makes me want to make more. <laughs> this one's a really fun pattern to work up as well, and they work up perfectly, at least for a six inch bracelet. And these are all of the bracelets I have made so far in 2020. Haven't even counted them up, but I feel like this is a pretty good amount of bracelets to make. And I am so excited to see where the rest of the year takes me. Of course, I've already started in the month of July working on more bracelets. And yeah, I just can't wait to film the second part at the end of the year. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. It's a little bit different than what I normally post, which is tutorials, <laughs> period. And I hope this inspires you to look at new patterns and even make some of the ones you saw today. So thank you guys so much for watching this one today, and I will see you in the next one.